Perverted joke. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another top 10 video. Yes, we are not at the end of 2021, but I thought it'd be fun to make a top 10 six inch scale Peter Parker Spider Man movie figure list. If you're trying to get your Spider Man movie figures, you can do so with me. Big, big, get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. All right down there, I ask you to please hit that like button, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So I have my 10 figures picked out, and I wanted to give an honorable mention to Marvel Legends because Marvel Legends did not make the cut. Not one Marvel Legend made it on the list, and I'm not gonna just make this whole video about complaining about Marvel Legends, it's just that they used to put the cobweb pattern on the figures as you can see on the homecoming spidey right there they're not doing it now like you can see with the integrated suit spider-man and the iron spider the far from home one i added that myself uh, we do have cool things going on over here no toe articulation on any of them they've done a pretty good job but i will say my favorite marvel legends spider-man figure is actually the into the spider-verse miles morales for peter parker spider-man movie figures marvel legends did not make the cut so let's move on to the list and start with number 10. <laughs> So for the number 10 spot, I am giving it to the Mafex or Mafex Amazing Spider-Man 1 movie figure. And yeah, I expect to see a lot of Mafex figures on this list, like a lot. And this was the first Mafex figure that we ever had seen. I had never seen a Spider-Man figure quite like this, this detailed with this much articulation and all the accessories that it came with. It's just a fantastic figure. Just my least favorite suit design for a spider-man movie and uh this guy falls apart super easy like the qc issues with mafex are at their worst at the very beginning and the arms pop off super easy the torso comes apart right at the diaphragm joint super easy whenever i pick it up it just falls apart so that's why it's at the bottom of the list well amongst the other reasons that i mentioned but i still love this figure and i had to put it on the top 10. <laughs> And at the number nine spot, I'm giving it to the Mafex Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie figure. And yep, I said there's going to be a lot of Mafex on this. There's a lot. And this figure is still very cool. However, uh, the red metallic paint has faded terribly over the years. I don't know if you could tell, uh, you know, just watching it on the rotating base over here, but there's a lot of red paint that has sorely faded from the figure, and that loses a whole bunch of points for me. And it's not my favorite Spider-Man movie, so that's another reason. Uh, the limbs are pretty wonky on it and stuff, you know, I feel like Mafex didn't really catch their footing at this time yet but this is still a great figure it's still detailed out like crazy i still like it a lot while maybe not my favorite movie spider-man figure this one also stands out because i did pick up the deluxe version way back when and it came with that big metal sheet that you could put the figure on and that really kicked up the fun factor for sure so yeah not my favorite but still a great spider-man figure if the paint doesn't come off of yours which is one of the reasons why it's so low on the list <laughs> And at the number eight spot, I'm giving it to the Toy Biz Spider-Man 2 Magnetic Spider-Man figure. And I chose this one over the one with the articulated fingers because I like the magnetic feature. That's something that I always enjoyed. One of my first, actually the very first six inch fully posable figure I had was a magnetic hand Spider-Man figure. So having this movie version, I've always liked it. I like taking advantage of the magnetic feature. However, this is a very old figure. I still think overall it stands up to the other figures however uh, i've had to fix some things i've had magnets pop off that have had to been glued back on the joints are very loose you can see uh, the color of red fading in those elbow joints over there so there's a lot of qc things going on over here but uh, when i pair it up next to all of these other figures from this list i still think it holds its own and i had to put it on this top 10. <laughs> 
And at the number seven spot, I'm giving it to the Revel Tech Amazing Spider-Man 1 movie figure. Do you remember this figure? Do you remember this line? I mean, this particular version of Revel Tech just came and went super fast, but I thought they made a very good Spider-Man figure. The paint here has held up. It still looks fantastic. The metallics just look really good on this figure, even after all of these years. However, uh, it has this issue with the joints, the elbows. Oh my God and the knees like they have these weird big discs over here and the articulation doesn't work like an amazing Yamaguchi or anything like that even though it's a Revel Tech figure it's its own thing but I still think this is a very good figure this is one where I just kept telling myself oh you're gonna sell it you don't need it you're gonna sell it you don't need it but I haven't been able to sell it because I still actually like it and I had to put it on this top 10 list <laughs> And at number six, I'm giving it to the Mayfex Spider-Man Far From Home movie figure. And this really would have made it a little bit higher on the list if not for that dreaded ab crunch. Yeah, Mayfex is really known for the articulation on the figures and this figure looks amazing. I love how it looks. I, it's really one of my favorite Spider-Man figures, right? It's on this list, but Unfortunately, it doesn't have the good ab crunch and that still bothers me with the figure. But other than that, I really still like it a lot. I love the design for this suit and everything. And yeah, of course, I had to include it on this top 10 list. <laughs> And at the number five spot, I'm giving it to the SH Figure Arts Avengers Endgame Movies Iron Spider figure. And I really like this one a lot. I think SH Figure Arts really stepped up their game with this one. I love the paint applications throughout. I had another Iron Spider figure that had really lame paint apps and that one really bothered me. But yeah, this one looks absolutely fantastic, especially with the bicep swivels. Oh my God, I'm so happy to have Especially with those bicep swivels. Oh my god, I'm so happy to see them finally add that to the figures or these Spider-Man figures. So that looks great. I really like the accessories. Not my favorite Tom Holland head sculpt, but not a bad one. Uh, where this loses points for me more than anything else is the way SHF does their leg articulation. I'm just not a big fan of how that looks on the figure. It just stands out to me every time I look at it and it bothers me some. However, I still really like the figure a lot. I love this figure. That's why it's on my top 10 six inch Spider-Man movie figures list. So here we are at the number four spot. And just being honest, I mean, from here on out, they're all pretty much my favorite Spider-Man six inch movie figures. And I'm giving the number four spot to the Mayfex Homecoming Spider-Man. I really love this figure a lot. I love picking it up every time. It's really fun to pose around. Just a great looking piece. I gotta say the Homecoming suit is really one of my all time favorite Spider-Man suits from any of the movies like I really really like this design a lot I like how intricate and detailed it is while still maintaining a lot of what we expect from a classic Spider-Man look So yeah, I love this figure had to put it in at least the top five <laughs> At the number three spot, I'm giving it to the Mayfex Avengers Infinity War Iron Spider figure. Oh man, I love this figure. You may have seen it in the background of my P.O. Box videos, which I haven't made in quite some time. But anyway, the figure is just absolutely fantastic. I love all the accessories that it comes with. This is the first Iron Spider figure I had where it was actually quite accurate to how it looked in the films. So I was just really happy to get this and I love how it looks and it still stands out just as a dope ass Spider-Man figure on my shelf. I just really like it a lot. I know people have had problems with the Waldos popping off, but fortunately for me, I have not had a major issue with them or anything, so I still absolutely love this figure. One of my favorite Spider-Man figures of all time. And at the number two spot, I am giving it to the Mezco 112 Collective Homecoming Spider-Man figure. And this is just an astounding piece because I feel like Mezco really gave us a Hot Toys 6-inch scale movie Spider-Man figure with this piece. I absolutely love the articulation on it. However, the hips have gotten a little bit loose on me over time. I do wish the head could look up a little bit more. I do wish it came with a Peter Parker head sculpt, but aside from that oh and it does not have toe articulation yeah the number two figure does not have toe articulation but the fact that the suit is so real looking i think it's the best looking suit it's totally seamless except for the neck so that makes it not totally seamless i get it but 
I just, I mean, the aesthetics of this thing are just remarkable. It stands out to me as it being on par with Hot Toys level quality with much, much better articulation. It's definitely one of my favorite Spider-Man movie figures of all time. And I actually had it at number one for a little bit, but then it got knocked down to number three and then I put it back at number two. one spot i'm giving it to the mafex spider-man into the spider versus peter b parker i absolutely love this figure man this is just a dope piece uh really it's at the number one spot because it's the only spider-man figure that i have that comes with bare feet yeah so that's why it made it to no it's not why it made it to number one i put it at number one because i feel like this is multiple figures in one right over here you have you know the slum in it peter b parker look but you could also give him the bare patas. For real, it does come with the bare feet. But I love it as a dope-ass Spider-Man figure as well. It comes with two Spidey masked heads, a uh, half unmasked head, and then the unmasked head. And I just love that it comes with all those different accessories. I love that you could take the clothes off and change the legs and everything so that you get a straight-up Spider-Man suit. And you could also have, you know, the Peter B. Parker uh, with his coffee mug kind of look going on. But having both looks is just so dope. It just really kicks it over the top for me as far as the fun factor goes. And you get all the other accessories that you would expect from the Mafex line of Spider-Man figures that are out there. So I'm just thrilled about it. For me, this is the one right over here because you just cannot get bored of it. There's just so many posing and display options available with this piece. It is my favorite six inch spider-man well, amongst the other three in the top four but yeah i just absolutely love this piece it brought something new that just really made me happy and i still love it and i had to put it at the number one spot so i hope you guys enjoyed this top 10 video if you did show some love to the channel by hitting that like button and if you're new here hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell and a big thanks to all the people that support this content via patreon and membership and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i was actually planning on working on a Marvel Legends Age of Apocalypse Wave 2 figure review of all those figures. So stay tuned for that. That should be up very soon. It's just that things have gotten delayed because uh, i got some family uh, pretty sick right now and got to, you know, do the things and, you know, take care of family first. So I had to make this video in lieu of the Avengers Age of Apocalypse set. So forgive me for those of you that have still been waiting for that video. But anyway, I want to know what you think about this video right over here. And I got to say, man, these are really dope ass Spider-Man figures. And this is all subjective stuff over here. You know, like my number one may not be your number one. I actually would not expect expect it to be your number one i geek out off of the fact of having more than two in one figure right there with that into the spider verse peter b parker so that's why that just sends it over the cliff for me but at the same time the top four the iron spider the mezco homecoming spider-man the medicom mafex homecoming spider-man like those figures are outstanding as well still love my old toy biz over here i mean there's just a lot of great figures and i want to know what your top 10 list is of your six inch movie spider-man figures let me know in the comment section below if i read your comment i will give it a heart again i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you want to stay in touch with me on social media you can find me on instagram twitter twitch and tiktok and i will catch you guys later peace hey new sharpness prime videos hey you should click one yeah, click on one of them or subscribe if you haven't